anything I ask you to do for me, you do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes with a little huff and puff, a little bit. But <laughs> you know bit. what? I'm gonna tell you how it's been working. This this might be. I ain't gonna say it's game, but let no, me put you up on game. Put him up on game. So on when game. I before I ask him to do something, mm-hmm. I tell him, <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> Let's dive into day five. If you miss days one through four, go check those out first if you want to go in order. Today's topic, compassion. Our scripture reading is coming from Colossians chapter three, verse 12 in the NIV, the New International Version. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. One of the biggest lessons we've learned as a couple is how to say three simple words to each other as often as possible. I love you. You're getting on my nerves, (laughs) but I love you. I've said that quite a bit. You said I was getting on your nerves. Yes. <laughs> I be getting on your nerves. Oh, man. You just hurt my feelings, but I love you. That was me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I promise that if you can learn to incorporate these words into your marriage regularly, you'll make it through anything. But love is what love does. Mm. If love doesn't give, it isn't love. If love doesn't sacrifice, it isn't love. Our marriage hasn't been perfect, and many times we have made mistakes along the way. But our compassion for one another is the glue that holds us together. Genuine concern for the other person and the ability to put ourselves in their shoes has helped us to endure the hard times and enjoy the good times. When I think about my love for Tam, the scripture that comes to mind is Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. We use these verses as the litmus test to make sure we're loving one another the way God wants us to love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongdoings. Come on. (laughs) Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Mm. That's the NIV. All right. That's a good one. It is, that's real good that Especially I'm going to tell you My favorite part of that Was when he said that But love is what love does mm-hmm. If love doesn't give It isn't love It isn't love If love doesn't sacrifice It isn't love mm-hmm. So you have to pay attention To the people that say They love you Yes But if they are not doing Showing And giving And, and sacrificing doing. Yes Then you know That's not what it is Right Right Let's pray this prayer together God of love Your love is unconditional. Your compassion never fails. Help me love my spouse the way you love me. Help me love with patience, understanding, selflessness, and long-suffering. Help me support and affirm my spouse as often as possible. Allow our love tanks to be filled by one another on a consistent basis. Teach us to love one another the way that scriptures tell us to love. We want to reflect your heart. We want to grow deeper in love with one another. We can't do this without you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Discussion questions. Here we go. Boy, they they have some good ones. They do. How often do you tell your spouse, I love you? How often does your spouse tell you that they love you? I'll be honest I don't think we say it Every day mm-hmm. Close to it probably mm-hmm. But there may be some days That mm-hmm. we don't mm-hmm. um, If we're busy 
Which yes. is like pretty I'll, often though. Yeah, we say it pretty often. Some days is several times a day, especially yes. if there's something happening. Yes. And and you show love to me the way mm-hmm. I need it, mm-hmm. then I know I'm gonna verbalize, man, I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you. True. Um True. And you usually say, I love you on the He's going to say, I love you, if I cook that day. <laughs> if we eat out, it, we may or may not get around to it. True. And that's, that's just true. the bottom line. That is the truth. I'm going to get a yeah. hug and a kiss, yeah. and then I love you. If it's one of them busy days where we didn't eat out, we didn't grab something quick, then probably not. But if you, <laughs> if you in that kitchen, I know I'm going to say I love you. And I'd be like, please leave me alone I and know. get out of here. See, see that's what I said. I said. don't like see, to cook. as love does... That's love. I you cook a lot, it. so you say it a lot. <laughs> True. So tacky. Yeah, she don't think she don't think I mean it, but I really I mean it. I mean it. Say it. Go to number two. <laughs> we could get better at it, but yeah, I think we say it often, but not every day. Do you wish your spouse was more expressive with their love? If so, share it with them. No, I like the way you express your love. Okay. I would rather you pick my foot up and rub it like you do every night. Okay. If I had to choose, mm-hmm. do I go to bed with a peck and then I love you, or I go to bed with a foot rub? You I want you to foot. express your love through my foot rub. <laughs> the foot rub. Because she's um, going to go to sleep. She ain't going to say I love you. But she and the other off. way you express your love is that you anything I ask you to do for me, you do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes with a little huff and puff. A little bit. But <laughs> you know bit. what? I'm going to tell you how it's been working. This this might be, I ain't going to say it's game, but let no, me put you up on game. Put him up on game. Put so on. when I before I ask him to do something, mm-hmm. I tell him, <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? When the Holy Ghost hits you, he told me. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you something, but I don't do it until, until the, the power holy, of the, the Holy, holy Ghost, Ghost is upon you. <laughs> Then and only then, I want you to go into the kitchen and <laughs> unload the dishwasher. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want you to do it, you know, begrudgingly. I don't want you to do it with an attitude. I don't want to hear no huffing and no puffing. Mm-hmm. So you sit right here mm-hmm. and until the, the power of the Holy Ghost is upon you, mm-hmm. man of God, head mm-hmm. of my household. See. That you see the little trick? So now if I don't do it, ooh, you ain't got the Holy Ghost today, huh? He never touched you throughout the whole day. <laughs> so of course you gonna get up there. Cause, but I know the man. I know who I married. Yeah, I know who I vowed to to Y'all follow. I'm submitted to him Y'all as he is submitted to God. Mm-hmm. So I know <laughs> that even if it ain't strong in the right there, that he's gonna pray. Cause I reminded him. <laughs> He is going to pray, and he is going to pray for the power of the Holy Ghost so that he can do what, what thus saith the Lord saith and the love Lord. me the way Christ loved the church, sacrificially. See, Hallelujah. Y'all see this trick? I ain't going to call it what it is, but it is what it is. No, I it's guess. game. Well, you are put, you are calling your husband <laughs> to his rightful place. Listen. The same way in the Lion King. Yeah, I do When Simba was out there in the wilderness yeah. with a pig and a, yeah. and a rat. <laughs> Mud, what was it? A muskrat? I don't know what that thing was. A out there eating meerkat, grubs. Meerkat. 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 <laughs> yeah. He out there eating worms and stuff, <laughs> singing a cool matata. And he got a whole kingdom he's supposed to be leading. <laughs> he need to get back to his rightful place. Yes. If your husband is sitting right there rubbing his crusty feet together, <laughs> watching the game, <laughs> doing nothing. See, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and all you need is a little help. Unload a dishwasher. All he needs is a little gentle push in the right direction. He, so you wait till the power of the Holy Ghost hit him. That, and that's this this I'm gonna tell you <laughs> the one thing since we going there that wives or at least my wife I don't want to put all of them out there love to do. They love to ask you to do. They don't ask you to do nothing when you're like okay you moving it. When they, you they wait to they they wait till you like this. <sighs> I would I would have paid one hundred dollars for that chair to flip over <laughs> if it could have just flipped right then. You put a lot. You putting a lot of pressure on that chair for your demonstration <laughs> purposes. See what I'm try saying? it again. No, I ain't gonna try it now you to pray the prayer. So no, we gonna move on to number three. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Why we wait till you get comfortable oh, in your comfortable spot, as you call it. <laughs> And Before we then, ask you to do something, and right. then you wait, then you put the power of the Holy Ghost or whatever, and ask for something. It's like I've been up and about. 
several times, but it don't hit you until we got that remote and the found the game we want to watch. <laughs> Our feet are kicked up, and now you need some. I'm glad you brought it up. Oh god! Because See, I honestly, think I walked into a, I walked into one. That's uh, up and about is relative, <laughs> and this is why I say that. <laughs> it really depends on who, whose eyes you're looking looking through. Now, I can't talk like he said. I can't speak about all husbands. I can only speak about mine. <laughs> so when we're talking about my husband in his comfortable spot, that is 90% of the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is not up and about much. He is up and about to pee. Because <laughs> he ain't cooking no food. I do that. He ain't sitting doing stuff with them kids, getting them, getting their plates ready. Oh, not getting their plates ready. For nah, them to eat, nah, I'm doing nah, that. Okay. And he don't get up to fix his food. I put it on a plate. She does. I bring it to him with uh, his napkin. Uh, I get his drink together, uh, yeah, make sure he does. got everything he needs. Uh, so he ain't got to move. Uh, so when he, when he's talking about up and about, if I waited <laughs> for him to be up and about, it would be when he got to go to the bathroom <laughs> and then he can't do it because when he go in the bathroom, you know, you know he going to be in that three hours. Or he going to bed. Why you wait till I'm getting ready to go to bed? I'm sleepy now. So you have a lot of comfortable time. Will you rock back in the seat like that? It was a very comfortable, uh, 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 um, familiar position for me to see you in. Because you have a lot of comfortable time. So if I'm asking you to do something, I'm going to have to call you forth from a comfortable spot. Because I ensure that most of your time in our home... It's spent being comfortable. Number three. Okay. <laughs> okay, because I thought somebody in the back said something. See what I'm saying? I walked into that. that, that was, oh, that's a flex for me because I work hard to make sure you're comfortable. You do. Amen. Amen and amen. We're going we gonna to move to number three. And I think I was supposed to ask you, dude, do I want you to express more? No. I think she does enough. <laughs> and she just did right there. You express it enough, babe. We good. <laughs> Do you really feel that way, though? No, I really do feel that way. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, I... Because, I mean, if you need something else more play. No, no, no. Like you just said, you do. You make sure I come home to a very comfortable house. I, I can't say that. I don't come home to a stressful house. She's very neat. She's very clean. She does make sure food is prepared. And, and by coming home, we come home together. <laughs> We both work. So don't think <laughs> don't go. think he just been out working all day. Go. He Here should come go. home to a clean house. We walk in the door together. Because we, we work go. at the same school. Here we, go. Here we go. So he gets to come home and resume his his uh, spot on his throne <sighs> while I do these things. And he gets to watch the TV while I'm in the kitchen banging I play pies. With the and kids doing stuff. Sometimes the kids. He, he will play with the kids sometimes Thank by you. handing them their tablets so they can play with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth for shame to do. <laughs> All it's I'm saying bad, is, Ed yeah. Gill has it made. I didn't want he painted the picture like, yeah, daddy's home, so she got the house clean for him. Got she gonna cook some food. <laughs> we work, we work the same job, <laughs> and we come home together. And I go to work when I get home, and he gets pampered. So all I'm saying is, if I ask you to come at your spot, yes, to get in there and get them dishes out there, dishwasher, yes, ma'am. I got you. Then the power of the Holy Ghost shall be upon you. <laughs> no, number three. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. Then you said yes, ma'am. <laughs> I got you. You act like it's better for you to be on the roof at this point. I nag, do I nag you? You don't nag me, but you you throwing some daggers right now. That's what I was You're throwing some heat. My bad. Some heat. Was that pin up? Ooh. They might need to do something we talk about in council. Yes. <laughs> Ask your spouse. Am I loving you the way you need to be loved? Wait for an honest answer. Take note of what they say and how they feel and try your best not to invalidate their feelings. Ooh, that's a good one. I think that's a good one for a lot of couples. But am I, that's, I'll let you answer first. Am I loving you the way you want to be loved? Yeah, I think for the most part. Okay. I, would, I would like some more romance. But hmm. you you are aware. I am aware. And you just be like, eh, I'm okay with a B. 
That's how you been treating it. High pad, that's That's how you been treating it. You been like, you like I'm doing really well. So yeah. you smiling, you having a good yeah, time. I, I'll, I'll admit, I don't shoot for an A. So in you ain't trying to show out. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I get enough to get the points that I'm not trash. Right. I'm like you huh. do, you do really well with things that are at home. I would love for you to like plan romantic getaways and things oh, like that. Oh yeah, that's 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 A. <laughs> that, you know, I, I get those type local. of romantic gestures. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I, but I outside of that, I, th- <clears throat> I love that you do what I ask you to do for me. I do. I do. I make sure. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Above and beyond. <laughs> what you say? I have to be okay. Everything on that list gets if done. There's a, if there's something I need, I just got to ask for it. No. Uh, no. Now that, I will say, I get above and beyond. I do. And I and I, I don't want to make it seem like it's uneven because I do. I try my best to make sure you are happy. Mm-hmm. But you do. You but I think that's who you are. I think you you want to be above and beyond. Even if I went above and beyond, you would go above and beyond her. Oh <laughs> hey, I think that's what it's about. Yeah. Who can out love who? I always want to be on top. You do. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Not right there because my thighs be burning. Pause. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> Flip so, it. but yes, I I I hear you, and uh, you know it's always about getting better, and I feel like you never settle for good; you go for great, and I do want our marriage to be great. So that's what's up. Mm-hmm. But that's who I am in everything. I do love you. You know, I love you, right? That felt like game. I didn't like it. That wasn't game. It was like a player pickup line at the club. I didn't like it. I almost felt like he was about to wink at me. Oh, it felt oh. dirty. <laughs> I do got the spirit of dirty old man. You, uh, I, do. Uh, I do. Can I get a kiss? May the power of the Holy Ghost oh, follow Oh, my God. Yeah, you can get a kiss. Mm. Now you got glitter all on your lips. I'll take it. All right, next time, guys. More information about our coaching services, courses, marriage tools, events, and getaways. Go to onevisionerc.com. That website, again, is onevisionerc.com. If you had a great time hanging out with us and you got something out of it, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Like it so we'll know you enjoyed it and share it with somebody so they can be blessed too. We'll 